Hello guys, how are you my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Uma Edi. Today I'm at this place. Uh, it's called uh, Native BKR Africa Limited and uh, I'm with the founder and the CEO of Native BKR uh, Africa Limited. So I'm going to introduce him to the channel and uh, guys uh, make sure that you learn something from this point. As here with me is Mr. Kennedy. Welcome to our channel. As you welcome us, as you welcome us to your farm, Mr. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Karibu. Karibu. Sandra. Mm. Thank you very much. So introduce yourself and uh, maybe you tell them what you do here. Yes. Mm. My name is Teddy Mutua. Welcome here. This is in Makweni mm. County. Yes. And uh, this is one of my apiaries. Yes. Which uh, has uh, around uh, 20 beehives. Yes. That we have kept here for the purpose of uh, honey production yeah. and other bee products. Okay. Yes. So this is your place. Yeah, this is one of uh, the farms. Or oh, one of the farms. Yeah, we so, have several happen that are made just like this. Yeah. Yes. All of the them are within Makweni County. Yeah. Mm. Predominantly we are in Makweni County. Okay. But different sub counties okay. in Makweni County. Okay. Yes. So is this like the main one or is this just another branch? No, this no? is uh, the smallest actually. Oh, this, this is the smallest. <laughs> this is the, 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 the oh, meaning smallest. there are yes. other big branches that exactly. we will visit. Yeah, we will visit. <laughs> So, Mr. Kennedy, yes. Uh, here we want to learn about the bee, uh, bee keeping yes. and uh, generally the farming, bee farming. A mm. few questions mm -hmm. that I'm going to ask you about bee farming and uh, hope you will uh, enlighten us about them more. Yes. So, how do you feed the bee that you keep here? Yeah, not, uh, naturally. And what do you feed? Once. Uh, we bring our beers in uh, in a farm. Yes. Uh, we just uh, make sure that they have a beer attractant. Okay. So once we keep we keep the beer attractant inside, yeah. then it is able to attract okay. bees within a radius of two kilometers. Yes. So once the bees come, yeah. they will just be waking up and then just uh, because they operate with pheromones, okay. they will detect areas where the flowers are, yeah. but within the uh, the, the the closer proximity. And then they will go to the flower, yeah. and then they will come back, they will do some dancing, dancing. Yeah. then that dancing will communicate to the others that we, they have seen a source of food somewhere. Source of food somewhere. And then the other yeah. bees will follow. They will yeah. go there, they will, they, bees majorly feed on nectar yeah. and uh, pollen. Okay. So they will go to, to that particular tree or plant, yeah. or even uh, any, 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 any shrubs, yeah. and then feed. The, the 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 flower yeah. so they will they will obtain either pollen yeah. or nectar and then they will bring yeah. in their eyes as the result. Okay. Yes. Okay. So how do you make sure that you have the bees inside? What do you do for, to make sure you have the bees and they come in large numbers in, in the beehive? Hive. Yeah. All right, thank you. Mm. What happens? Uh, we we normally uh, use bee attractants. Yes. Uh, like uh, bees wax. We have another one. We call it uh, bee lure. That lures bees inside the hive. So in our manufacturing site, yes. when we go there, we'll be able to show you mm. the bee attractants that we normally have yes. and that we fit yes. inside the hive, yes. and they have a capability of attracting bees from a radius of two kilometers yes. inside the hive. Okay. Sometimes we yeah. bee hives yeah. on top of trees, yes. as you can see. Yes. You can see also around. Yeah. We place them on top of trees to enhance the pol the, pol the colonization. Yeah. And once we have uh, up them uh, colonized, then we bring them in a house structure. Okay. Sometimes also we place them inside the structure, yeah. and the bees come. Okay. Yes. Ca can we? Is it possible we can get inside here and then yeah, yeah, see yeah. some few things? It's possible. So, guys, let's uh, get in as we study inside here also. So, right now, there are bees inside here. Yes. Okay. How many are these? Uh, in this structure now, we yeah. have about 15. Oh, the others we are hanging outside yeah. for colonization. Okay. And uh, some are colonized. Yeah. We, are, we will be bringing them in course of this week oh. inside this house. So right now there are bees inside? Yes, there are bees inside. Oh, yes. So this is getting interesting. Uh, I, I want to ask. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so how long does it take for these these inside there to produce the uh, like candy? Uh, naturally, what happens mm. uh, even before the, we we have them uh, uh, produce the honey, yeah. we count the period between uh, manufacturing of the hives yeah. and also colonization, yeah. and then from there, then we start counting. So naturally, mm. uh, we have found that in Kenya, mm. in Kenya, yeah. you will find that they have uh, reduced yeah. because of uh, usage of a lot of you know spraying oh, harmful okay. chemicals that are affecting the the bees and we know that bees are pollinators yeah. we can't live without bees yeah. because if there is no pollination yeah. there's no food so, so it, mm. what happens is uh, now what we, because of the type of attraction bee attraction that we use in our hives yeah. you find that uh, in a week's time mm. if you put uh, like five bee hives or ten somewhere yeah. you'll find that you are achieving 20 percent of colonization. Okay. Now what happens then, once a beehive is colonized, then now we start counting the period. Yeah. So it takes barely like uh, three months mm. to feed to fill the first box, oh, which okay. is the, we call yeah. it brood chamber. Okay. And then uh, the top box, yeah. which we call uh, the, the, the super chamber, it is all again filled within another two months. Yeah. So it takes, uh, if for a strong colony, it will take Four months mm. to feel. When you talk about a bee colony, it's mm. a family of bees. Okay. Bees, you will find that they move in a, uh, as a group. Okay. So that group of bee, we call it either a colony yeah. of a bee yeah. or swarm of bee. Okay. And in in that uh, colony or swarm or a group of bees, there are three types of bees. Okay. There is the the queen or the queen. Yes, who takes care now of the hive. Mm -hmm. She is the supreme okay. in the hive. Mm. And then there is another bee that we call uh, the, the drone. The drone? Yeah, the drone is the male bee. Okay. Their work is predominantly only to, uh, to, to fertilize the queen. Okay. And then we have another one that we call, uh, we call it uh, worker bees. Worker bees. Worker bees, generally they are female bees. Yeah. They go, they are the hard working. So we call them girls. Oh. They are the ones that go to the field, you yeah. know, to the nectar, bring yeah. the food yeah. to the hive. Okay. Yes. So here I can see you have the yellow boxes and the green, the green one. Yes. But what's the difference? <laughs> Why? Or is just the coloring? <laughs> yeah. Uh, generally, mm. bees are bees do not detect colors. Okay. Yes. Uh, so what we normally do, mm. the purpose of us painting these hives, yeah. because it's a wood, yeah. it is to for the protection of this wood okay. from external vagaries of weather, okay. like rain a lot of sun, yeah. so that we can preserve it outside. Because already inside, mm. once bees get in, inside the hive, yeah. they will preserve okay. the, the wood from inside the part. Okay. But now outside, yeah. external weather has to be protected. Yeah. And that's why we paint yeah. uh, three colors. Mm. We paint it a white, we paint yellow, and sometimes we paint green. Green. Yes. Okay. Just the same, like the way I've painted the apple. Okay. Yeah. So we can uh, walk around, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, right see, now here, I don't see water. How do you make sure? Uh, at some point when I was in school, I learned that uh, bees, when you want to keep bees, at least you need a place where there's water. Yes. How do you manage that uh, here? Yeah, yeah, it is mm. true. Mm. The When you are you're planning to keep bees, there are two things that you have to consider. Yeah. One is the source of the food. Mm. That is the, the nectar and the, 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 the pollen, mm. which is... Again, yeah. the, trees. the trees. So you have to consider the trees that you have around. And then the number two is true. You have to consider what. Yeah. But uh, in, in uh, during rain season, mm -hmm. you find that there's no problem with water. But now during during the time during when it is season. dry season, yes. then you find that water is there, but yeah. it is yeah. in a fan distance. For example, mm -hmm. you see here I'm locating the apiary. Where the apiary is located, yeah. there's water source mm -hmm. uh, in less than one kilometer. Oh. Just... And After this bush, yeah. somewhere down there, yeah. there is a water, there is a natural water source, okay. a big dam. Is this the uh, it's called the, this the, the dam which is Camunyoro. not not Camunyoro. Oh, there is another dam. Yeah, there is another one. There is another one. The Camunyoro is bigger. Uh -huh. It's near to water. Mm. There is now another one here. Okay. Yes. And uh, we can see. But now, water. what happens? Yes. During the uh, uh, so that because you know, uh, worker bees, the ones that look for, go to source for food, yeah. that is, they 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 their, their lifespan is only three months. Oh. So the longer distance they travel, yeah. the lesser the the period they live, yeah. the, the lifespan. 
Yeah. So to reduce that mm. uh, traveling distance, yeah. we ensure that during the dead season, yeah. all the time when there is no water yeah. sufficient around, yeah. we, we we provide some water. Yeah. So that will be okay. You can see this is uh, this is uh, generally mm. this uh, generally is uh, is, uh, is 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 just uh, some announcement that we have done. Yes. This is a chicken drinker. Yes. Yeah? yeah. For the people who feed the, 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 the chickens yeah. with water. Mm. So for us, we use it to feed mm. our bees. Okay. So we feed uh, this is a six liter mm. one. Mm. I, I fill it with uh, water. Mm. It takes only two weeks for it to be emptied by the bees. Oh. Uh, yeah. So depending on, because also mm. other wild bees will be coming also to. Uh, birds. To, uh, also. Birds also mm. will come to take mm. some water. Mm. Other small, small bees also from the forest will mm. be they coming to take. Oh. So. But now with this, you will ensure that your bees will not travel longer distance, yeah. and also your bees will not move from your artery. Yeah. You yes. mentioned something that the worker bees take around three months uh, when they are still alive. Yes. And uh, what happens after they are dead or more are produced? Yes. <laughs> uh, what happens? Uh, the 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 this uh, the, the the bee colony. Yes. The queen mm. is the, like the king. Oh. But now in the in the family of bees, mm. they are led by a, a, a supreme lady oh. called the queen. The queen. So the queen ensures that you know uh, there is a lot of uh, well planning yeah. for succession or what we call succession pl planning management yeah. for the colony. For the so she ensures that she gives birth frequently, mm. and that's why you see even the, our hives, the way we have structured them, yeah. the bottom chamber is bigger than. The yeah, top, chamber. top chamber. Why? <laughs> because the queen needs bigger space for her to lay more eggs yeah. for sustainability of the colony, yeah. for production of honey and pollen, whatever mm -hmm. that, whatever product that we need yeah. in a beehive. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So, see, you know, as, uh, we can walk around also, we see around. Sure, sure, we can. We can see. Yeah. So guys, I hope you are enjoying the video. Please make sure that you subscribe if this is your first time on the channel. And uh, let's enjoy the the field. <laughs> the other thing also, you can see, you have, uh, yeah, I can see you. Uh, the foreign yeah. bees, uh, we are doing them to ensure that, you know, yeah. they produce, uh, once they mature, they will yeah. be mm. giving us more of uh, nectar. Yeah. This agroforest, we have about uh, 500 of this grevelia around yeah, yeah. so we are looking into production of uh, more honey okay so and uh, most of these are grevelia uh, flowers during dry season yeah. so during dry season apart from the acacia trees that will be flowering yeah. also our grevelia will be flowering will be flower so we'll get more honey, more, more honey to supply to our so, to okay. our consumers okay yes so oh uh, how many, how many, how many kgs do one beehive produce? If you look at uh, the Langstroth type, yeah. which are the basic ones that yeah. we normally use, yeah. there is a Langstroth standard beehive. A Langstroth standard hive will give you between 10 to 12 kgs. 10 to 12 kgs? Yes, per harvest. Twice in a year minimum. Okay. Some areas okay. will give you three. Now, like this place is an asylum region, but mm. uh, I am doing working hard mm. by, you know, supplementing, pl uh, planting a lot of trees around yes. this agroforest I'm creating here. Yes. Now I will be able to do three harvests in okay. a year. Okay. So th let's say, let's work with 10 kgs. 10, 10 kgs times three, that is 30. 30 kgs. 30 kgs. And mm. here I'm, uh, I'm having 20 BFs. 20 BFs. So how much is that? 600. 600 kgs. Yes. Wow. So I'm good that, to go. That's really nice. Yes. So apart from uh, honey, uh, apart from, uh, okay, what is the most uh, profitable part of beekeeping? Yeah, the most profitable part in beekeeping yes. is the most profitable part yes. in beekeeping. One is uh, production of honey. Yeah. Uh, from the production of honey, also. Because you can, you will be able to package the honey yes. and also you sell it to the market. Yes. The second part there is also production of uh, pollen. Oh, pollen. Yes, pollen from a beehive. Yeah. There are pollen collectors that we feed. We connect to the hives to oh. to, to, to collect honey. Ah. In most cases, we call we connect these hives that you have seen here during the time we have a lot of uh, flowers, ah. especially rainy season. For now, we we don't extract the pollen. 
Okay. The other thing that we collect from hives yes. is uh, is um, is uh, apart from honey pollen, we also do beeswax. Oh, beeswax. Yes, the okay. wax. Okay, the beeswax. We'll okay. be able to show you the okay. one that. Then the other aspect that we do yes. that gives money also uh, in the beekeeping. Yes. We also have uh, propolis. Propolis. What is propolis? <laughs> propolis is a resin. Oh. This, you know, they protect themselves from crawling insects okay. that attack the hives okay. and also cracks yes. that are, that develop it in a, in a beehive. Yes. So that now when, when they put uh, those cracks, yes. then uh, we, we collect from those cracks, especially for traditional beehives. Okay. But now in the modern hives, yes. there is a, you know, pro propolis collector. I'll be able to show you later. Oh, a propolis it. collector yeah. that we fit yep. in a beehive. Okay. Like the ones that we have there, we have two already that are treated. Okay. With propolis collector, yeah. propolis collector. When we collect that propolis, it is helpful. We make uh, some medicines. Okay. We will be able to show you the value addition that you have done to those products. Also. Uh, okay. Yes. And you, you have also stated uh, about the pollen. You are collecting pollen. What is this? Uh, what is it used for? Uh, apart from uh, the honey that the bees are producing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, pollen yeah. in, uh, from hive. We yeah. do value addition. Yeah, then it is used to to as a medicine mm. for the people who have issues with uh, asthma. Asthma. Yes, okay. coughs. Mm. Yes, it suppresses coughs. Okay. Similar like uh, pollen, uh, yeah. propolis. propolis. Propolis also makes medicine for the people who have coughs issues, yeah. like um, uh, children. Yeah. It's yeah. common colds. Mm. It suppresses and also gives you more immunity, okay. boosts the immunity of the both, both pollen and uh, propolis. the propolis. Okay. Then uh, this works. Yes. We do value addition to many things. Mm. We return it first to the bees for for uh, to lure the bees. Yes. We also use uh, it to make uh, makeup, cosmetic okay. uh, things like uh, we have uh, we have uh, lip balms. Lip balms. Yes, for no, ladies. We also have uh, we also do. Uh, do body lotions yeah, body and body, body creams. Oh, you see, like uh, the children uh, in, in rural places, you find that children have issues with uh, the, yeah, the white the, hair. Yeah, the, yeah. the hair and develops, you know, yes. some machine. Yeah, machine. So yeah, yeah that uh, the, 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 that's uh, the, that's oil that we get from this one. It's yeah. a good remedy yeah. for those. Uh, machine for the children. Okay. Yes. Since it's a little one, I'm a yeah, I, I can see you have some uh, hives on the tree. Yes. Uh, what advantage do you, do you get from this, uh, as opposed to the other ones that you have collected at one place? <laughs> yes. Now, the, like uh, this one, uh, this hive, uh, it is already colonized. Okay. It has bees inside there. Okay. So take care. Uh, we normally place them on top of trees, just like this, yeah. for to enhance colonization. Okay. Yes. So, so when we place it here, mm -hmm. you know, because bees tend to protect their environment. Yeah. So they protect the environment ecosystem to ensure that you know, if there's a bee here, yeah. and, which is colonized, and there's another one, it may end up not being colonized because the bees that are colonized here, they are protecting the other one. Yeah. So we spread them in these trees, yeah. just like this one, yeah. to ensure that you know we speed the colonization because yeah. here now yeah. this one. Uh, when we place it, yeah, it took only two days mm. and it was colonized. As so opposed, oh, if you could place it in mm. an area whereby there are a lot of other uh, hives that are the colonized. Ice. Okay. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Yes. So, what's your future plan with the, with the, this family of uh, the honey production? Yes. Yes. Or oh, the future goals that you have with this? Yes. Mm. The future plans that we have uh, with uh, this venture, mm. we are trying to onboard more farmers yeah. into this. Yes. Because we have uh, tried and found that, you know, it is only this that is pollination. And yes. if you are a farmer and you are into orchard farming, especially in Makueni, yes. and you have uh, bees, yes. like even you have 10 beehives, they are useful for you for pollination. Mm. So we are trying to, you know, to sensitize more farmers yeah. to take up uh, to move from transition beekeeping yeah. into modern beekeeping yeah. because it is sustainable yeah. and you know bees here do not abscode or swarm 
anytime. Mm. Because, uh, you know, the way we have modified the peace sites. Yeah. And also, they will help also to boost productivity yeah. of orchard farms. Yeah. And also, even whatever that you plant yeah. here. Like the cow peas, cow, yeah. the peas, even the maize, mm. everything. And even, it is, uh, it is, has been researched yeah. and found that like uh, the, for the people who do avocados, yeah. they will love to have bees in their farm. Okay. So we are looking to even those who are afraid of bees, we can rent the bees. Yeah. We rent beehives, we bring to your farm, we, we pollinate. After pollination has been done, we carry our hives, we bring back to our habitat. So that is the area we are looking into. Wow. Going to the future. That's really nice. Yes. Yes. Guys, the story is getting interesting and I hope you are also learning from this. So this is part one. We have just done part one. We are also going to the office so that we are going to get to see more about this. So please stick around. Don't forget to subscribe on the channel. Please leave a comment. And if you have a question, you will also leave a question there. So anybody who wants to leave, to maybe get into contact with you, yes. uh, can you just share your contacts with them also? Thank you. Mm. For those who want uh, to get in touch with us, yes. we are social. Yes. You can go to any Google search. Yes. You search us. We, our name is, uh, we trade under the name Native Bikia. All over in the social, social, social medias. We are in Google platform. We are in Facebook. We are in Twitter. That is X space. We are also in uh, TikTok. Mm. And also we are in uh, Instagram. Yeah. So follow us. We are also in YouTube. You can follow us. Okay. Yes. Our contact also, you will be able to find it there, but it is 07 yes. 18 Five six four. You can WhatsApp us. Yes. yes. And so we'll take it. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So guys, this is just uh, one of the branches. Native Bee Care yes. is uh, a big farm, and uh, we will we will show you the. This is just another branch. This is the main farm where yes. we will show you. So stick around and uh, let's meet in part two. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs>